One of the awesome things that we all know and love and we all appreciate but we just almost never talk about is also one of my favorites and it's one of I think the most universal and that is simply the cold side of the pillow. Flipping over to the cold side of the pillow in the middle of the night is incredible. It's awesome in fact and we've all done it and so I, I've always thought that that one is you know a representative of what the awesome things are all about which is that young or old, rich or poor, black or white, you like the cold side of the pillow. And so do I. Well, you know, I was living just in the suburbs of Toronto, uh, living a very kind of ordinary, casual existence. I was married, I lived in a house, I worked in an office. Everything was, you know, kind of as I thought it would be um, when I was in my mid-20s. Um, but it all came crumbling down uh, in the span of only a few weeks when I was both uh, asked uh, for a divorce by my wife and my closest friend took his own life. Uh, it was a few years ago now but I still remember the pain that came along with that life change and um, I remember thinking you know what I, I just need some sort of way to focus on something positive somehow and uh, it was at that time in my life that I started writing down one awesome thing every single day. I'd come home from work and I would write down uh, a few lines about wearing warm underwear from just out of the dryer or getting the new cashier at the grocery store when she opens up a new lane and you get to be first in line. And you know, these simple tiny little joys gave me a lot of sort of therapy. You know, it's funny, I think we have a, a, a strange thought in our heads when we're not having a good day and that is, I gotta get out of this day. I gotta fix this day. I gotta change this day into a good day. And I totally disagree with that. I don't think that's what you need to do at all. I think you need to do three simple things when you're having a bad day. Number one, realize you're having a bad day. That's the first step. Number two, realize that it will end. It will end, it always has ended before. You've had a bad day or a week or month or even a year in some cases and it has a conclusion. There will be a finish. And number three, recognize that when that dark day is finished, uh, you will see awesome things again. And I think those three thoughts will calm you down because they, they work for me and they relieve me of the, the striving to try to get out of it and let me be comfortable knowing that I will simply move through it. I think there is an underlying theme in the Book of Awesome. Uh, it's one that I'm trying to explore right now uh, for my next book. And it is about trying to live uh, what I would call a truly rich life. One where you want nothing, you can do anything, you can have everything. Um, I think there is a set of, you can call them models, you can call them frameworks, of, but I call them like just ways to live that um, will help you live a richer life. And seeing and appreciating tiny joys and simple pleasures is certainly one of those things.